Hello folks and welcome. So I am filming in 1080, uh, but my desktop is in 4K mode. You probably are noticing a lot of wallpaper cycling. Actually, they're cycling every five seconds. And I will actually show you and give you some tips about automatic wallpaper changer that you can uh, install and also add your own photos to the mix. A lot of these are coming off the internet. So in either case, folks, uh, the subscription key probably is close to my home folder down here. And uh, more importantly, I have over 500 videos on all kinds of things. Um, so last month, a user asked me to do more videos on Ubuntu. So uh, this is um, Ubuntu. 2404, latest version. You can see my hardware information right there. All right, I am going to slow this thing down because it is running way too fast. So I'm going to pause that and uh, talk about Variety. Now you can get Variety from the, your uh, App Center. If you type in Variety in the top bar, okay, um, you may hit the Enter key really quickly, but generally you want to just type in Variety and pause. Why is that? Well, because it's right here, that's why. If you continue going, you may have a problem finding it. It's a Debian package, and you can install that, and it's fairly quick. Once you uh, actually launch it, um, it will produce an icon on the top here, and that's where all the magic can be done. So uh, generally, just answer the questions uh, after you install it, and um, we can also see where that picture came from. Ah, NASA picture of the day from NASA.gov, Seagull Nebula. In addition to all the goodies that I can do in here, I'm going to talk about the preference box. So again, this application is called Variety. You may want to write it down. And we can have all kinds of fun with this. Down here is your preference box, and generally that's all I do. I don't go into all this other nonsense. Um, you know, you can uh, take a look at your tips in here. And on some systems, this doesn't work. And on some systems, it does. I'm taking my mouse pointer. And I'm going to point at this thing. And I'm using a standard computer mouse with a scroll wheel. I'm going to scroll up one or scroll backwards. You can see the wallpaper is actually changing. All right. So these are the sources that's coming from. And a lot of these are from the Internet. However, I have Bob is our user for today. Let's open up the file manager. And uh, more importantly, Bob has some pictures and some screenshots, but I'm going to add these to the mix. So what I'm going to do is remove that folder and you can probably see a preview of what's in that folder. So generally it does not add your own personal folders. This is currently paused. All right, to add your additional folder, you just click that. And I would suggest not a single images, but the complete folder. And you can just click pictures and do the add business. Down here, you can probably tell that uh, as soon as I move my mouse, it starts scrolling. I, my hand is off the mouse. And it's slowly scrolling through all those, um, well, pictures even including the original image from Ubuntu. I have that sitting in my pictures folder. At any time, um, like you can see this picture is upside down or sideways, when I click that, it self-corrects itself. You can see that sideways. So it doesn't matter what I'm looking at. I'm just doing this manually. It's completely paused. And this will stay here until I turn, re, uh, resume. And there are two ways of doing it, and I'll show you that in a second. So how often can you have this, quote, wallpaper changed from these different sources, whether it's your local machine or Internet? Well, the bare minimum is five seconds. You can have it changed to five minutes if you like, five hours or even silly stuff like five days. But what I'm getting at is the five second is the minimal. Once this is activated, this will keep changing every five seconds. That's why it's cycling like that. How about if we just dump in 30 seconds? So I'm going to 
press my numlock key for a second here because I didn't realize it was on and put in 30 and hit enter. So it'll at least pause on something. All right, you can see that the current image that it's using. If I don't want some of these things, I can uncheck them. Let's say you don't like uh, NASA astronomy pictures. And by the way, it builds a library when you do this. After you install, these will download in the background. If you don't like that kind of stuff, turn it off. But it, this is stuff coming from Bing, and I'm going to use Mr. Squirrel here for a second. He's a cutie, because I'm just pointing at it. If I like this one better, then I can click that. Keep in mind the timer is running, so I'm going to click and put it in pause mode. All right, so I have the wallpapers from Google Earth. I have uh, this over here, and it's just building the library slowly because I literally just installed this 10 minutes ago. All right, so if you don't want these things, maybe you don't like the photos or where these things are coming from, turn it off. As a matter of fact, you can turn everything off and just use your own pictures if you like. So this is Bob's pictures. Bob is our user for today. So if I just wanted to use my own images, uh, most of these are wallpapers. Let me scroll through here for a second. I'll probably, here's a, a photo that I took. Uh, this is the Oregon coastline. And what it's doing here, it's accommodating for the size of my screen, even though that's sideways. All right, so again, you can just turn these on and off. So let's look at Bing for a second. I already showed you uh, Mr. Squirrel here. Um, whatever you're into. And here's the cool part. Now I'm going to leave this paused. Okay. So if I were to uh, just turn this off, quit. This is still running. It's up here at the top. But I can see where this came from. A lot of the internet pictures, you're, you're going to go, oh, okay, where's that? Well, it's Portugal. Oh, cool. Here's a map of it because it's going through the web, uh, the interface, through your web browser to get information on this. Well, what if you're using your own pictures? Well, let's do that. I'll pick, um, I don't know, this one. And I will close what I call the previewer. It's telling me it's coming from my own home folder, Bob Pictures. That's how I know that. You can also do um, manual next. These are random, by the way. That's coming from NASA. Let's see what this is. You get the idea? Now I'm going to point at this with my computer mouse and scroll up and keep scrolling and keep scrolling and keep scrolling. All I'm doing is cycling through pictures. That's all I'm doing here. This is still paused. So if I wanted to uh, resume, you can see resume regular changes. I generally just use the preference box. Okay, so you can click and unclick these things. You don't have to use your own pictures, of course. But you can also load it and then unload it. All right, but more importantly, you've got a previewer down here. So as I scroll through my own photos or wallpapers, as in this case, my mouse slows down depending on where I have this. My subscription key is probably covering part of that. If I go the other way, it starts slowly scrolling or speeds up. Again, depending on your graphics card, maybe the behavior might be slightly different. I know that some of the older laptops uh, spe specifically maybe don't have a lot of horsepower. Um, so your effects could be slightly different than mine. But in either case, I can change the wallpaper or background every 5 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 minutes, 30 hours, 30 days if I like. That would be really silly. But the bottom end is five second interval is the lowest it can go. I generally only use this right here. 
pay attention to that if you turn it off. But generally, I would just leave most of this stuff on. If you want the full package, slide all of these guys on. Okay? You see something you like? Click on it. You want to leave it on your desktop? Uncheck that. This will stay here. This is called, what I call this is a previewer. You can turn this off. Quit. This will still stay here. And your icon will still stay here. Now let me talk about if you are wanting to have this load every time you log in. That's all done with preferences for variety. Okay, one more time. Over here, do you want it to start automatically? Yes or no? If you choose no, then it won't. Then you'll have to execute it manually. It's still in your folder after you installed it, or the uh, applications, I'm sorry. But if you activate that, then it'll activate these wallpapers after you log in. And depending on where you got this setting, it could be in seconds, minutes, or days. Keep in mind, that's the minimum interval is five seconds. That's a little excessive in my book. But more importantly, the developer of this application allows that. And this could be fun to look at a lot of times because you don't know where these random things come up. You can have a squirrel one moment, and he's a cutie, or you can have your own photos just pop out of the blue. And I don't care if you got photos or wallpapers. Either way, it's the same. I got some bizarre stuff, I will admit. I've collected a lot of stuff over the years from a lot of different sources. All right, you probably have seen some of my videos, and if you are a new subscriber, I welcome. But yes, I do have some bizarre stuff. These guys are skateboarding on top of buildings. Or we got Painter Hat Guy. Wallpaperswide.com is where this came from, if you're curious. Quit. Now you can see the logo down at the bottom. Maybe my subscription key, let me move that out of the way, is covering part of that. In either case, it could be fun to just take your mouse, point at that, scroll up one or two. Keep in mind, I have this currently in pause state. If I wanted to reactivate these things, I would just turn that back on and then change the interval. I'll go back to five seconds and let you see how quickly this changes. Just make sure you hit the enter key, then close the window. And then we can just stare at this for a second. Now you have to be quick on the draw if you're doing five seconds to see where these images can come from. You gotta be really quick on the draw. See, it's already bypassed that image. But maybe you've heard of that uh, little toy. I, I, many years ago, I watched this program about this little mechanism. I thought it was fascinating that supposedly somebody made that 2,000 years ago. In either case, I'm going to slow this back down. It's way too fast for me. So we will go with a bare minimum. Maybe in my book is 30 seconds. But you can do minutes, of course. So in either case, folks, you can uh, go to the App Center and install that to have a little bit of fun with your, quote, backgrounds or wallpaper. And uh, when you find one that you want to just pause on, just go ahead and uncheck that. This will stay here. I'm waiting for you to click it back a little bit later. And you can mix your own photos and you can pull stuff off the internet. This can be fun sometimes, especially when you're working in a environment such as this, where it's not full screen. So when we're doing full screen stuff, um, then you can't see the background, of course. All right, so I'll pull that down a little bit. Thank you for watching.